Hello, my brelly. Hope you are doing well as always. The sweet child of mine solo, Slash's solo in that solo is without doubt one of the greatest rock guitar solos ever recorded. Fact. <laughs> All right, it's so memorable, you can remember everything part of that solo. And that particular run, that fast run, ever since I was a kid, ever since I was 12 years old when I started playing guitar, I wanted to get that lick down. I've always wanted to get that lick down and I remember I would go through guitar magazines and I would get the tab, the tab would be in Total Guitar and I'll pull it on my music stand and I'll try and work out that guitar solo and I would just fail. When I was trying to work out solos, especially fast solos from tab, it just always threw me and I could never quite get it. And even about five, six or seven years ago, I tried learning it again and I still couldn't get it. It just, it just didn't go, I couldn't work it out. And uh, I've always been kind of an ear player working things out, just couldn't get it. And I left it for about five or six or seven years. Now, the other week, Guns N' Roses played Glastonbury, uh, which is a massive festival over here in the UK. And it was shown on the BBC, even though the sound wasn't the greatest because of whoever the BBC sound guy was, but that's another matter altogether. But it was amazing to see that band. I saw them in 2017 and they were great and it was wicked to see it. And it just reignited my love for Slash. And then fast forward, like a week later, three, four days ago, I got offered to go and see them at Hyde Park. I was like, oh my God, I'll get to see Slash, like I'm in a bit of a Slash mode and I'm now gonna go and see him. And I saw him do that lick once again live and it was amazing. <laughs> It really was such a great show. And yesterday I was like, you know what? Let me get this lick down. And I sat down with the song and you know what? I blimmin' well got it down. And it kind of sounds like this. Now the most important part of this solo is the little finger. Now I know so many people neglect the little finger through the 20 years of teaching guitar, the amount of people I see and they're like, I don't like using my little finger. This is the most important part in getting this slide. So let's zoom in for a little close up and let's learn this lick note for note and so you can play it and impress your mum. <laughs> Just a quick couple of notes as well. If you haven't done so, there's a link below. Please sign up to our mailing list. It really means a lot if you do. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. And also check out my website, mikebradleymusic.com, where you can get some cool lesson bundles and things like that, which are not on YouTube. And I think the most popular ones are the caged video lessons. Lots of people like those caged video lessons. I get a lot of good feedback about that, which is great. And also you can pick up a t-shirt as well. Hope you're doing well as always. So uh, yeah, really appreciate it. And I'll be putting this full solo, what I did today, I'll be posting it on Patreon as well. I am on Patreon. I don't shout about it enough, but I am on there. Anyway, all those uh, <laughs> housekeepings out the way. Let's learn this lick note for note. So let's do a close up of this. So if we think of it in layman's terms. <laughs> Okay, so that's E minor, pentatonic shape four. And there's our E minor bar chord around that shape. And then he's adding in this note here, which is the D sharp, which is coming from the E harmonic minor scale. It gives it that cool kind of uh, Spanish -y, Egyptian kind of sound, right? So <clears throat> it's all about the little finger on this lick, all about the little finger. So basically that going on there. So uh, I would advise to pause the video a lot and rewind don't worry about tab, just do it bit by bit. This will really help uh, your owl perception. Hello, I am here, hello. This will really help your owl perception and you know your ear training uh, instead of relying on tab, because tab is always through me. So definitely try, just pause bit by bit. So ninth fret two times. And then we go to the seventh fret and then hammer on to the eighth, pull off. 
And this is what I mean about the pinky. You've got to go to that 10th fret with your little finger there. At least for me, it throws me if I don't. Back to the nine, seven, tenth fret on the second string of my little finger, and then slide into the twelfth fret. And then I'm going to go to the eighth fret on the first string, and then back to that twelfth fret on the second string again with that pinky. And loop that over a few times. And it's all down up picking going on there. Now we're going to hit that harmonic minor note on the 11th fret with our ring finger, if I have my ring on, naughty boy. And then back to that 12th fret on the second string with my little finger. Then we're going to go 8, 11, 12 on the first string there. And then we're going to, after that, playing that 12th fret on the first string, slide to the 14th fret with our little finger. Again, the little finger is always neglected, but it's really important for this lick. Then we're gonna go 11, 12, 14. Uh, I'm doing these fingers, one, two, four. And then sliding up to the 15th fret there. Then we're gonna go 12, 14, 15. And now, I'm kind of going to the kind of rock and roll fingers of one, two, three there. So you're gonna go 12, 14, 15, back down, 14, 12. And then go to the 15th on the second string and then 14 on the first string. And then little 12 to 14 on the first string. I'm using my first and second fingers. Like that, so again, all together. to the 15th fret 2nd string. Then 12th fret on the 1st string. Do that scan slowly this time. Back to 15th. And then you're going to do a little bend on it. Back to the, and then go and pull off to the 12th fret. Fifteenth fret, second string. Then you go into all that kind of uh, the good old blues licks. Now that was all done on my net pickup on the original, obviously it's the Wawa bridge pickup. But get it sounding good, clean, and then put the Wawa in. So I really hope that helps. Like I say, I know I keep going on about it, but the pinky, the little finger is really important and practice it cleanly like I was doing it earlier. And then when you're ready, put the put the wah-wah on. In case you're wondering, I've got the exotic uh, wah 
Um, and I should say, that's all I've got. I've got the wah, and you may have noticed, if you're a regular old viewer who's been following me for a few years, I've just got my old Cornford out the carriage. It's been in a flight case for the last year. And um, I'm just going into that. All the overdrives coming from my old Cornford amp, and it's... Oh, it's such a great amp. It really is. I've had it since 2006. I think I got it. Uh, January 2006. And it's, you don't need an overdrive pedal of it. You know, it's... Uh... <laughs> It's really cool. Anyway, so when you put the lick in with the wire, like I say, bridge pickup. You got that. I don't like playing while sitting down, it feels weird. But again, slowly, volume down a little bit. If you never use a wah, it's just, you know, it's using your ear, you can hear where it wants to kind of go more forward. No, it's not a complete forward back, forward back, but you kind of just slowly go into the motion of it, you know. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that and it helped get this infamous slash lick down. It's such a great solo, such a great lick, such a great run. It's, um, as you probably can tell on my face, I really enjoy it. And you know what? Even when I heard myself playing that back, um, I just had a big smile on me because I just went back to being 12 years old when I first heard this. I'm like, oh, I just played that. So it can be done. It takes <laughs> over 25 years to do it. Great, but it can be done. Um, so let me know how you get on with it. Please leave me a comment below and so I know how you got on with it and if it's helped. If it hasn't helped, maybe you don't like Slash at all. I mean, you're crazy, but if you don't, Explain why. <laughs> anyway, I've been Mike Bradley. This has been my Les Paul. You've been you. Again, if you want to get a t-shirt, head over to my website, mikebradleymusic.com. And also, be sure to follow me on Spotify as well. I'm on there with some of my music. So, uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to push Spotify. I keep getting told I need to push Spotify. So, um, I'm going to start pushing Spotify. Anyway, guys, hope you're good and well. Thanks for your love and support. I'll see you in the next one. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye. Get away, get away, try to shoot